What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and our 2023 college football predictions continue for the 2023 college football season. Up next are the Virginia Tech Hokies, a team coming off a really disappointing season in 2022. They were 3-8 and overall last year. And last year I predicted this team to finish like at least third in the Coastal Division. Uh, that didn't turn out to be the case whatsoever for this Virginia Tech team. Uh, they had 3-8. and eight. Of course, they had that last game canceled at the end of the year against Virginia due to the tragedy. But Virginia Tech coming off a disappointing season. Uh, my thoughts on this team for 2023. It's kind of hard to tell how good this team is going to be for 2023. Um, you know, this schedule is pretty tough for them. You look at the schedule. They do play Old Dominion, Purdue, Rutgers, and Marshall in the non-conference. They get their non-conference games to start out the month of September at least, but I mean, there's a pretty good chance that they could probably start out 4-0, but it's going to be a really tough task for Virginia Tech, especially when you have to play two Power 5 teams out of the Big Ten this year. And then you got the ACC schedule. No Clemson or North Carolina on the schedule, but you have to play Florida State on the road. That will be their toughest task there. And also you got Louisville on the road, Boston College on the road, and you got Virginia on the road. Those are not really tough road games. Those three games are not really tough road games, but I just think with the overall talent this year, Virginia Tech has coming back it's really hard to tell how this team is going to perform this year they do return about 73 percent on the offensive side of the football uh, defensively they return about 65 percent on the defense and 69 percent overall production coming back this year for this team so yeah they may that may seem good but I think Virginia Tech's just going to have a really step back year this year like they did once again like one year ago so they start things off here with Old Dominion on September 2nd. Let's go game by game now and give you an official prediction for this Virginia Tech team. So they start things off here with Old Dominion on September 2nd. And this is an Old Dominion team that defeated Virginia Tech last year at home. This year, Virginia Tech gets this one at home. It's kind of like a revenge game for the Hokies here. Um, I think Old Dominion is going to compete in this game, but I think Virginia Tech overall is the better roster. I think Virginia Tech gets revenge in this one, and I think they do win here at home against Old Dominion here on September 2nd. So I got Virginia Tech starting out 1-0. and Then they'll play Purdue here at home on September 9th. Big non-conference matchup here between the Boilermakers and the Hokies. Uh, these are two teams that are not really similar. Purdue went to the Big Ten Championship last year, but this is a Purdue team that is starting over from scratch. They're going to have a new head coach, new coaching staff. It's hard to tell how good this Purdue team is going to be. And I think it's really hard to tell how both of these teams are going to perform in this game. I think this game is a low-scoring type ball game. End of the day, though, it's a 50-50 game for me. And with that being said, home field advantage does favor the Hokies in this one. So with that being said, I'm going with Virginia Tech here to get the win over Purdue. I still like Virginia Tech in this ball game. I done Purdue's prediction already, and I did pick the Hokies to win this game. So I got Virginia Tech improving to 2-0. Then they'll play Rutgers on the road here on September 16th. And Rutgers is a team that's kind of similar to Virginia Tech. They're not in a rebuild mode, but I think Rutgers are a team that's not going to be really good this year. I'm not really high on this team either. So I think Virginia Tech will have a really tough road game here, though, against the Rutgers. I don't think this will be an easy game. I think it's kind of similar to the Purdue game where it's a low scoring type matchup. At the end of the day, though, home field advantage does favor the Scarlet Knights in this one. So with that being said, I'm going with Rutgers here at home against Virginia Tech. And I got Virginia Tech given their first loss of the season here on the road at Rutgers. That puts their record at 2-1. and one. Then they'll play Marshall after that on the road. Not a really tough place to play here against Marshall. This is a team that, you know, pulled off a huge upset against Notre Dame last year, a Power 5 school. They could well do that again, but, you know, I think Virginia Tech is the better overall roster in this game. I don't really see Virginia Tech losing on the road at Marshall, but that's a game I don't really want to sleep on. I think Marshall will compete in that game like the Old Dominion does. But I think Virginia Tech does come out with a win here. They at least pull away. And I got Virginia Tech improving to 3-1. and one. Then they'll play Pittsburgh here at home to open up ACC play. Uh, Pittsburgh's a team that I think is going to take a step back year this year. However, I think this team is still talented enough to where they can compete with all the ACC teams this year. And Pittsburgh, it's kind of hard to predict against them. You know, Virginia Tech is at home in this game, but I just think Pittsburgh overall has the better roster. I know they lost a lot of production from last year on that wide receiver position, but like I said, it's hard to tell how good Virginia Tech is going to be this year from the season they had a year ago. So I think Pittsburgh does get a win here at home against Virginia Tech 
or I should say on the road at Virginia Tech, but Virginia Tech will lose at home to Pittsburgh here, and that puts their record at 3-2. and two. Florida State on the road here on October 7th. This is a veteran experience Florida State Seminoles team. I really don't see Virginia Tech having any chance here in this game to knock off the Seminoles here on the road. I think it's too tough of a, um, tough to, too tough of a place to play. And I think Florida State will win this one pretty bit easily. So I got the Seminoles lose it, or actually winning that game. And I think that's just a too tough of a place to play for this Virginia Tech team. That puts Virginia Tech's record at 3-3. Three and three. Then they'll play Wake Forest at home on October 14th. I think this is still a good Wake Forest team, even without Sam Hartman. I've kind of been saying that in all my predictions that I've done, all the ACC teams that play Wake Forest. I think this offense is still going to be pretty explosive. And maybe not one of the most talented offenses ever since Sam Hartman left, but I think this team is really going to still be good. And with that being said, I think this game is close in the first half, but I think second half, Wake Forest will pull away, and I think the Demon Deacons will win by at least a couple touchdowns. I got Virginia Tech losing that one at home against Wake Forest. That puts their record at 3-4. and four. Then they'll get a bye week before playing Syracuse at home here on October 26th. Uh, this is, game is going to be on a Thursday night, so I kind of ex, um, ex, I mean, I kind of expect it to be a Thursday night game. So Syracuse is a team that has a lot of production coming back. I think people are sleeping on this Syracuse team just a little bit. I think this team is going to be really good this year. I think they're definitely probably going to be a top 25 team, perhaps. They do have a tough schedule. Virginia Tech gets this one at home. I kind of expect Virginia Tech to compete in this game, especially the bye week after that. But I think Syracuse has just got way too much experience on their roster. With that being said, I like Syracuse here in a close one over Virginia Tech. And I got Virginia Tech losing that one to Syracuse. That puts their record at 3-5. and five. Then it's Louisville on the road here on November 4th. This is a Louisville team that's kind of in a rebuild mode, but not in a rebuild mode. It's just starting over. They got a new coaching staff. They got a new head coach with Jeff Brom. Um, he's going to be a really good coach, I think, for the Cardinals. The good thing about this Louisville team, though, is that they brought a ton of guys in the transfer portal. I think that's going to help them out this year, but... Question is, how good will this Louisville team be? But playing on the road, I really don't see Virginia Tech winning this one. I think Louisville wins this one by at least a touchdown or something like that, or maybe a couple. So I think they'll lose a road game here to Louisville on November 4th. That puts their record at 3-6. and six. Then they'll play Boston College on the road. So they play back-to-back road games here with Boston College and Louisville. Not tough back-to-back road games, but Boston College, definitely a team that's going to be really decent this year. Uh, this team has a lot of experience coming back on both sides of the football and I think that experience gets to Virginia Tech I think it's kind of similar to the Syracuse game and Florida State games where they're just there's just way too much talent on both sides of the football for both of these teams I think Boston College gets the win here over Virginia Tech so I got Virginia Tech losing to Boston College here on the road on November 11th so I got them falling now to three and seven then it's NC State after that at home on November 18th this is an NC State team that's going to lose Devin Larry at quarterback. They got, lost a lot of talent from last year's team. I think this is still a good NC State team, though. They brought in some guys in the transfer portal that kind of helped them out a little bit. But this is an NC State team. I think it's going to take a little bit of a step back, but I think this is still a team that could probably win seven or eight games this year. Uh, this will be a close game. I think it will be a competitive game, but at the end of the day, NC State will pull away in the second half, and I think NC State does get the win here over Virginia Tech. So Virginia Tech loses that one. That puts their record at 3-8. and eight. Then they'll play their rival Virginia here on the road on November 25th to end things out. And Virginia's a team I don't really expect to be all that good this year. I mean, it's, this team lost a lot of production. They lost a ton of guys due to the transfer portal. It's just a lot of talent from that side of the football last year. And this is a team I just don't really expect to be all that good. This is a rival game. You never know what can happen. But I just think Virginia Tech, with all that more um, experience on their roster, more than Virginia will get it done. I think Virginia Tech gets um, the win here over their rival Virginia to close things out for 2023. It's not the best season for Virginia Tech, but at least they get a win here over Virginia. Maybe to end things out for 2023 and maybe have a good, better season in 2024. But my prediction for Virginia Tech is 4-8 for 2023. I mean, that's a reasonable prediction, I think, because the schedule is tough. But, you know, they don't have to play North Carolina or Clemson on the schedule. But this is a Virginia Tech team that I just have a lot of question marks for. I just don't know how good 
this team is going to be. It's kind of similar to the Northwestern video that we did from yesterday. It's just hard to tell how good these teams will be after a really downfall season. So my prediction for Virginia Tech, 4-8 for 2023. Let me guys know what you think about Virginia Tech. What do you think their record is for the 2023 season? And stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.